saying, I'm saying that Muslims are saying, I, um, personally, I don't want Islam in this country, but I believe that we adapt some of the ideals of Islam, but not Islam, to the old existing people here. So when you say you don't want Islam in this country, you don't mean Muslims. Are Muslims welcome and Islam not welcome? Is that the distinction you're making? Or are you saying, you know, like Trump, he's clear that Muslims not welcome. In your view, are Muslims welcome in this country or Islam not welcome? Which one are your... your Muslims. Muslims. Muslims are not welcome. The reason why is because I'm, I'm, right, I'm, I'm, I'm more into preserving like English. Not, not just culture, but also its people. And the main thing that's endangering that is the immigration from Islamic countries but from outside of Europe into Europe. It's not so much I have a problem with so Muslims. It's basically immigration, not Muslims. It's not, it's not so much I have a problem with Islam, more problem with people from outside coming into here. So it's not an Islamic problem that you have, it's immigration. Yeah, more. Yeah. Right, right. Obviously, like, yeah, that's more of it. Pretty much. Yeah, but in terms of Islam, obviously, obviously, Islam, Islam, and its values, do you agree or disagree with them? Um, I don't agree with like Allah and all this, but I appreciate and I agree with some of the things such as like subjugating women and you know you Islam know, subjugate women. No, no, no. You know, like having like a patriarchy with men, you Sorry. know, men, men and women, like women sort of being like housekeepers and. Where do you get that from? From culture? Or from Islam? Is that from Islam? No, no, I mean, I guess, but I'm saying in Islam, a lot, like, a lot, like, women are tend to be, as they say, half of a man. No. This is interesting. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm having really a fun discussing with you because you're like a very, you know, an example of how people, you know, perceive about a religion and its teaching based on the actions of the people. No, no, I, I agree with you. I, no, I agree with you. Islam or about no. the people what I'm saying is I agree with you here. that if we were to take Islam from the actions of the Muslims I probably would get a wrong picture about Islam because Muslims are not representing their values and principles and the teachings of what Islam says so if we were to judge Islam by the actions of the people I would agree with you that's not the religion perhaps you know the true religion or that's not the way of life that we should follow and adopt in any society but then again, we should be asking ourselves this question, right? Are Muslims following their religion? If Muslims, some, if, some of them are. Some yeah. Them are. If Islam says do not kill innocent people, and you yeah, see people do. blowing no, up no, in no, seven no, seven, no, I, don't, I don't really care too much about terrorist attacks. I don't care. About you don't? I do. Terrorist attacks? Yes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm being honest there. Like, obviously they kill even it's a horrible thing, but it's only a minority. Being what about killed. women? What do you consider is Islam? Islam's take on women is. No, 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 Islam like, considers there's saying, quite a few women around, saying, right? I, I, don't, I don't have to I'm saying, I'm speak saying, on women's behalf. I, I don't think they should have me covering up. But I like the way you guys have like arranged marriages. Let's talk about cover like up. That. Cover up. Let's talk about covering up. Why do we wear clothes? What's no, the problem? I, I don't think they should. I don't think it should be like that. Like having a cover up. Yeah, maybe. The just it's like just like, like I, I don't. I don't think it's very good looking. I don't think like I don't when you be say, looking at people. When you say up. covering up, you mean how women dress, right? Yeah, I, I, like I, I guess I just don't like. I don't think they're very fashionable burkas. I don't think they exactly look very sexy. Yeah. And you know, okay. I just don't. Why, I, why I just I don't like red caps. Uh, brother, well, I think you, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. You, stop you actually hit the nail on the head. Also, did you did you notice? Oh, no, I know why you had them because they're on the very. No, 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 no. You hit the nail on the head. You yeah. closed the issue. There's no further discussion. You know what? You considered the burkas are not very fashionable, but that's not my point. Not very sexy. They're precisely for that reason yeah. not to be, so that you don't look at them as a sexual object. Oh, no, no, wait, no, no, wait no, slow no. down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Burkas are meant to give you a barrier, an obstacle, which gives you this impression they're not objects of sexual nature. That is what the purpose of your burqa would be, right? There are actually human beings behind the burqa who have an intellect and who have perhaps more, yes, but more, I think more, ways more, to go who may be more than wear burqa. Look, look, look clever than you are. No, what I'm saying is, burqas are designed to stop people from looking at them in a sexual nature. 
Because it's a loose clothing that goes over your body. No, 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 no. You can, you can wear normal clothing without no, wearing no, a burqa. No, no, no. And a it burqa's not be purpose. Look, look. I know, you can wear normal let me, clothing. Let me tell you historically. Without, a without having to be like sexy. Wait, looking. wait, wait. Slow down. Historically, like historically, in the Arabian society, there were lots of women and they had their services around for men, right? Men can go and use their services, like we have today prostitution houses. Yeah, legalized prostitution houses. When Islam commanded for women to draw the veils of her head and cover the bosoms, is to distinguish her from those loose women so that she is seen to be a woman of what? Higher status? That she is a woman of a higher status of what kind? She's a righteous woman. She's not a loose woman. That she needs to be treated with care, respect. Not you molest her. The Quran says so that you're not molested. Because if you are, look, if you see a woman wearing bikinis and going on here and walking past, a lot of men will follow her. <laughs> with the intent of what? Sexual nature. Let's go and, and you know, chat up with this woman or girl or bird, they say, right? That's what they do. This is what this clothing attracts. But when you have someone covering herself, she's telling you. Yes, but I'm not. Look, like, look, look, I'm look. Not, not she's giving you a signal that I am not a sexual object. No, I'm not. I'm not Do you I'm get not that? I, I get that. But you I'm don't not, get I'm it? Not, I, know, I, know, I get it. I get it totally. Very but, good. But that serves its purpose. No, I'm saying, but we, the English people can do it in their own way. A similar thing, but in their own way. They, they need to make their own decisions and their own way of doing this kind okay. of stuff. Can I ask some I've, of you I, this I question? Really need, maybe have like you made your own decisions own to wear what you wear? Yes. No, but I mean, I mean but in an so, English way. Obviously, they're doing it according to their culture no, no, no. and their religion. I would like, I would like to, you to I have mean, a conversation with a Muslim woman thing. who, on her own way, decided yeah. on her own will <laughs> to dress like yes, this. Yes, obviously. But, but What's so wrong with that? What's wrong with that? It's not English It's not culture. Yes, come on. Okay, is that from your culture? They wear. I wasn't wearing one until I decided to wear one. Yes, obviously you decided to, but that's because people around you and you saw the pre-existing kind of thing. No, it's, it's only a pre-existing concept. No, no, no. But I believe that English people Why don't make you their own take concept. her own admission where what she says rather than no, 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 no. Why is this barrier automatically? No, 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 you're not right. You let me tell you why you wore it. It's like this, my my friend. No, let me tell you why you wear your burqa or your scarf. Yeah, exactly. Because your father tells you, your your, your husband tells you. No, she's telling you, no, she's wearing it. On her own accord. Yes, I know that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that's necessarily true. I'm not saying that's necessarily true. But my thing is that the, it doesn't. You have your way of doing stuff, like and this kind of idea of a burqa. In, 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 it comes from the Middle East, and it should say that. But if we want to similar thing Middle here, East. come from Islam, then it comes from the Middle East. Are you saying people? Are you saying people before Islam? We're not dressing very modestly, covering their head. I'm not. I'm not saying. Have that. you heard? I'm saying, have Islam you ever seen nowadays, a picture? Which my people friend, wear friend. Because nowadays are generally. One, one example. Have you ever seen a picture of Virgin Mary without her yeah. head covering? Have you ever seen anywhere? Just something. Which country are you from? I'm, I was born in Russia, but I in Russia. Guess. Have you seen in Russia the picture of a Virgin Mary? Oh no, I knew they covered up, but that's according I'm to their culture. Is that before Islam or after Islam? I'm not, I'm not, I, I, it doesn't matter when. Right, I'm saying, so, I'm saying, so, I'm saying, I'm saying I'm, I've got nothing against that. I never said I had anything against covering up. What we established, anything, but what I said is they made their own way of no, doing it. No, what we established is, like burqas, burqas or hijab did not. We don't need like not, Islam to, no. to my, make our own way of cover, covering my, up, for example. My friend, my friend. We can, we can do it in our own do way. Do you agree now? No, no, hijab, I never said hijab it. did not come from Middle East. Do you now agree? No, I, I know. I, I know. People always come like that, That's what I like, said. It's but, a Middle East thing. No, but, saying, but that does not that does not mean that Islam belongs here. Like I said, we can make up. Islam own doesn't belong here. With covering up, women can cover themselves up here, mm. but not how to be Islamic. Judaism belongs here. What? Judaism belongs here. Okay. Which which religion belongs here? Which religion? I know, but in the, in the end, it's all in the same principle. You're all, they all come, it's all under the same idea, general idea, of is, is Islamic. Of is, is Islam. No, I'm saying it's the same. It all, like, come on. You guys are Muslim. So now, it generally goes back to a similar idea. You guys may be dressed differently, but go back to a similar idea. Like, obviously, for example, like Christians can cover themselves up. 
but, but I, know, I know that, I know that, I know that. But that's them choosing their own way, Christians. But it does not mean that you guys have to come here and cover, cover up. Okay. Which religion belongs here? Because this is this is a place for the people of Europe who have been here for a long time. People of Europe. Europe. Are you English, by the way? Are you English? You don't belong here too. No, but no, the reason. Do you belong here? No, I tell, I tell you why. No, I won't ask you this question first. Then tell me why. Do you belong here? And then continue. Yes, I do. But you're not English, are you? No, there's a reason for that. I tell you. So if there is a reason, we can belong. I tell you. Go ahead. No, no, there's difference. There's difference between someone from Europe, who is quite close to a group, going around at the moment. Like in, in obviously in an idealistic world, I prefer like things to generally be more close. But at the moment, like we have mass immigration into Europe from all around the world. Britain but is not going to be part of Europe anymore, anymore, right? Is that, oh right. my God! Just they're not part of the European Union does not mean they're not part of Europe. Obviously. All right. So it's, it doesn't matter politically where you're from, right? Yes. So but if you're from the Middle East, it's okay. No, no, it's not about that. It's about other races coming from their place to here and demographic like yourself, a Russian. No, I like I said, no, Why are you welcome this, here? This is what I'm saying. You I want to know. Okay. I'm I'm I want to know. Is, is Russia in Europe? Europe? All of Europe. Is Russia in Europe? At the moment, it's oh, where I come from. Is in, is in Europe. But where all of the part of Russia I come from is in Europe. Oh, okay. So it's in the European. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So what we understand. No. What we understand this. This issue is all about whether you're European or not. Is Europeans a supreme race? Or I'm not a high saying race? that. I'm not saying they're superior. But I'm saying in order for Very Europeans good. to survive as a race, right. they need their own area. Okay. And they don't so, want immigration. So in. are you saying Europe in its entirety have values which are better than values from say I'm not saying that I'm not saying the values are better, I'm saying in my view it's not about it's not so much about values. It's more about preserving the people in the place. It's like it's about preserving the people. Okay. So if Islam came here, do you think it will not preserve the values of the English people? No, so it's not about that. It's to me it's more about people from because Islam comes here by having people come here from outside of Europe. Yeah. That's how Islam comes here. It doesn't come here by persuading no, no. If it existing comes Population. If he comes here, are you of the opinion that it's going to somehow not no, preserve the values of came Britain? Here, if it came here, and, and, and by and none of none, no, no, no outside came, talk about me. And it was the people here choosing. Why talk about other people? Islam, Do I look like British? No, <laughs> I'm not English. I know that. I've come here in this country. I know that. Yeah. I know you're not like English. Very good. Really? So now, why am I not all welcome? Because I provide services, and. No, you, no, this is this way. This way, way I think it's not slow. about services. What is the point of having a good economy and having services provided by people from outside? If in the end it's so going to lead to what? your people no longer existing, okay. you've got to think so long how term. have myself made your people, the Europeans, it's non-existent? Simple, it's simple. What have I done? By being, no, by be, it's like what have I done? By being here, yeah. you're competing with the native people. Yeah. It's just by being here, you're being a competitor. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's just simple. If you exist and so basically, the Europeans should remain in Europe. They shouldn't go holidays to Barbados. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. There's like you can be like, for example, Japan. Sorry? Japan has a quota no, no, about you, immigration, but people can still travel. No, your, your argument. There's a difference between millions of people going around and staying somewhere permanently, assigning families, then going somewhere like I don't mind. Okay. For Muslims coming here okay. for a year or two. You know what? Going back for home. for a second, for a second, I want to agree with you and I say, look, how many Europeans are there? In outside Europe, get them all back. No, I like, like I said. No, 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 no. Get them all. No, first, no, like, first thing we have to do is this: so get is, all this European back because they are competing the against the other people in those yeah, countries. Really so now, what are you doing to get them all back? No, no. This is the way. This is the way I'm going to do it. Yeah. I, I'm, I can't <laughs> police this world. Yeah. I can only do what I can do in Europe. Yeah. So in Europe, I'm, I, I would close my borders in Europe. No, no. What are you and doing with the Europeans? Job. Who are it's still outside. It's, it's like in America, job. for example. It's that country's job hmm? to get. Like for example, for example, if there were if there were English people in China, it'd be the Chinese people's job to get the British people out of China, not the British government's job to get the people out of China. You, according to your principle, which you uphold so much. You should really get your house in order first. No, no, right? no, no, no. no. And then say, look, 
Europeans from China come back to Europe. Oh, this is the way the world works. Now obviously. otherwise you'll be considered no, no, no. a hypocrite. No, it doesn't matter. Everyone's a hypocrite. That's the way I'm people not. are hypocrite I'm win. Not. It's a simple fact. If you're a hypocrite, you'll be more successful. It doesn't matter being a hypocrite. Being a hypocrite can be a good thing. It makes you more successful. Really? It does. <laughs> Very interesting ideology. It does. Because for okay. example, is no, no. your ideology based on a belief in God or in the absence of God? No, no, I, get no, I, get no, I want to, I want to, I want to, no, no. I want to, I want to really get this conversation in one central point. Is your thinking, your principles, your values, your ideology, based on in a belief in God or belief in the absence of a God? I, I personally, I don't necessarily believe in God, but I understand the ah, importance of religion. That may make sense. But if you I don't believe in a God, look, if religion. you don't believe in a God, people are, can be really messed up. Let me tell you how people can be messed up. Because people have no objective moral standards. No objective moral standards. Because I, I all you have... have standards. Listen. I do have moral standards, even what? though... What did I say? Religious. What did I say? Did I say you have no moral standards or you have no objective moral standards? You make it, you make your own standards for society. No. Like, you know no. not to rob Listen. a shop, for example. Uh, it's only a big religious Listen. Not to know not to well, do that. If, if some people okay, consider... If some people consider, with their moral standards, it's okay for mass migration into their country. Like, imagine you are one isolated case. Everyone, every other English individuals, people, very good people, they said, we are okay with migration. Now, that's their moral standards. No, no, would you be okay with that? No, no, I'm saying, obviously, I would disagree with them. Doesn't matter. Obviously would you be okay with would, it? I, I, I can't change it, obviously. So you'll have to be okay I, with I, it? Obviously, I'm not okay with it. But Why not? I can't change it. So because basically I now, I want the European do you now realize the moral, the moral standards that you have, your moral standards against their moral standards, right? So isn't it better to have an objective moral standards? Because otherwise, you'll be so fluctuating from time to time, place to place, and you will be in real mess. Do you not agree? In principle, there should be a, what we call an anchor, a standard, which we use to judge our behavior. The simple thing is, I just think... For example, for me personally, I just think science, for example, just is like the, like the truth. Can like, science give us an objective moral standard? No, but like it can, but it can give you. Wait, wait. It can help you a lot. It wait. Can give you medicine. Are you saying. No, no, you see what you're doing? We're called. Whoosh, park the thought. The discussion is can science give us well, science objective moral, moral standards? Always like, obviously not, because science is not about no. morals. It's Good. About, then, about facts. That was, then that was actually what we call a red herring argument, isn't it? Or a straw man? Which one? I don't understand that, but I'm saying science is not facts. But obviously, okay. science So don't bring science lot. in. Look, we are for science. We gave you science. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for Islam, really, then Europe would be in dark. Oh yes, I want to make this point. Look, look, look. I want evolution. to make your face. I want to make your face very happy. If it wasn't for Islamic contact with your Europe, Europe would be in dark ages, living in filth. If it wasn't for Islam, we gave you the taste of science. And then you had your renaissance. I'm sure they would have found their way. I'm sure. I am sure. No, no. no like, e e this like, is fact now. it would have gone both ways. This is fact. It is a we, fact of reality. No, it would have gone both this ways. Obviously, when you go somewhere, both people. Benefit. So now you realize Islam is not against science. So now we're talking about your not believing a God must be for a reason. Let us explore what is the reason for denying or There's rejecting, no denying or rejecting something that is obvious. It's, just, it's not obvious. I don't see any proof. Okay. So this universe, it came from... Go on, your answer is? My obviously, answer is, if there I is no God... Know, I, I personally believe it may be one of those questions you just can never answer. But is it, is it, more, is it, more, is it, is it more likely that some like God came out of nowhere than the universe existing? So any, anything that comes from making, somewhere... Deciding to make let me, universe? Let me um, agree with you something. Anything that comes into existence is not God. Because before coming to no, existence... obviously God had to come from somewhere, so if he was real... He, no. Oh, God, if, don't give me that. God has just always existed. Everything has to come from somewhere. If you have a God coming into existence, that is not God. I reject that first. You know, yes, yeah, then where did God come from? Obviously God had to come from somewhere. Yes. Now, because everything has to come from somewhere. Let's, let's, let's understand that. Let's well, understand explore. One thing doesn't come from somewhere. Let's explore something. Can something... Come out of nothingness. Well, what's also more likely? God is. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm, not, I, I, I'm for religion. Can, can no, 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 no. What's more likely? What we are asking is, can you something God, come out of nothingness? You use God hmm? for you use God to um, explain stuff that you don't understand, or some a, a being appeared 
out of nowhere. No, obviously, I'm not saying science is, obviously there's many things about science we don't know, but science has helped us a hell of a lot. It has given your clothing. It's so, it's so, not always. What I'm, what I'm asking you, I'm, I'm going to show you something. Science, from the science is neutral. I'm going to show you science something. Science is good or bad. I'm going to show you something tool. from the Quran in a second. Anyone can help me with the reference? When uh, Allah says, "Audhu bi shaitan rajim," am khuliqu min ghair shayin am humul khaliqun, am khalaqu samawati wal ard bal la yuqinun. I'll give you the reference and I'll show you in English, right? What this statement in the Quran says: Where they created from nothingness, am khuliqu min ghair shayin, am humul khaliqun. Were they themselves the creators? Third point: am khalaqu samawati wal ard. Did they create the heaven and the earth? It ends with a rhetorical statement. Or a statement saying, they have no certainty. No certainty. So, first point. All of this, did it come from absolute nothingness? Like I said, it's one of those things you can never know. We can know easily. No, you know, personally, okay. I think you cannot no, know no. because I wasn't around when it became the universe. Do you know what nothingness obviously. is? Nothingness is? It's just lack of something. Nothingness is simply the absence of anything. Yeah, that's right? what I just said. Like absence of energy. I know that's what it is, just the absence of everything. But let's let's you're let's, saying, you're saying let's God, conceptualize it. God exists, so no, my friends, came from somewhere. Let's conceptualize this nothingness and see whether this nothingness can make something. This nothingness is the absence of anything, meaning absence of energy, matter, absence of time, quanta, fluctuations. Actually, if you look at the Big Bang Theory, please, please, please. it wasn't an absence. Everything the that nothingness exists in the universe nowadays existed back then. Before the Big Bang? No, it did. It did. Before the Big yes, Bang. Before before the Big Bang. Bang. It still exists. According to the Big Bang Theory, it still existed. It was just compressed so much into a space so small. Was there, was there nothing there? No, 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 that's not Are you saying, saying before that. the bang there I'm was saying, something? I'm saying, according to, I'm not saying the Big Bang Theory was necessary, as obviously I wasn't there, but if it was, if it, I'd say according to the Big Bang Theory, everything that's here now was there, all, all the matter, all the energy was there, it was just compressed. Okay, let's, uh, yes, this is one of these models, right? My argument is quite simple, simple to understand, right? Nothingness cannot make something. No, 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 you no, see, no, no. I, I'm trying you right. to make an argument God, and you, you're wait, trying to refute God it. Come? If nothingness can make nothing, then how did God come into existence? One way to understand an argument is... No, then, then it's not real. If it's he could come into existence... Let's, so let's hold on to this. Fuck this Firstly, I'm going to present to you an argument which is so simple to understand. If it's something that you can refute it, you can refute it straight away if you want. Right? And say, your argument doesn't hold any water, is actually a fallacious argument, logically. No, I just and, you didn't tell me no, no, where what, God came from. I will, I, will, I will answer you in a moment. My argument has all of that. Simple argument. You can easy, understand easily. I am saying that something cannot come out of absolute nothingness. First part. We are something. That means there has to be always something. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, you're not, I, I agree you're not you. even letting I, me. I know, saying, I you're agreeing with me that even nothing, before I finish my no, no, argument. No, I, know, I know what you're going to say. I'm gonna say I know you're arguing, but, but, but nothing can come out of nowhere. I agree with you. So but, do you agree that but, there has to be oh, something always? Yes. Good. But, so, no, 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 but, but you do not know what it is. But I don't necessarily believe it was God. Slowly. I believe that obviously there was something maybe slowly. before this slowly. universe. Slowly. So you agree in principle, using our rationality, there has to be something always. Yes. There would be no moment of time ever in the past where there was absolute nothingness. You agree? Um, um, in this, like, that's the thing. In any universe. In there cannot universe. be a moment where there was absolutely nothing. No, but actually, that's not true because if they're, they're before the universe actually came to existence, there would not be time. Listen, that's why I said, let me finish my argument and then you can argue, argue against it. Because you, you, you thought you understood already what I'm going to say. So let me develop again. Nothingness, as I'm explaining. No, no. Patience a bit. Look, you have your own thoughts. No one's going to take oh, it no, from I you. It's been so hot. No, no, no. No one's going to take your thought away from you. We are exchanging ideas. You want to go in the shade? All opinions, man. Yeah, we should in the shade. Let's go. 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 Let's no, no, I just want to point out, I'm doing pretty good since you're an expert. You're an expert of the Quran. Yeah, right. So let's, let's come back to the point. The nothingness I am trying to conceptualize in this discussion is the absence of everything. You know, to do things, to do any action, you need energy, right? Yes. 
Okay. If you don't have any energy, you can't do anything. That means you cannot bring about things, you cannot originate things, you cannot create things. To do any of these three things, you need energy. Nothingness is the absence of having any energy besides other things. It's totally devoid of anything. So if you have a thing called nothing, this thing cannot create this universe or anything because it doesn't have anything to create with, no energy to create with. Yep. Do you follow so far? No, yeah, yeah. Right. If this universe exists now, which you, I'm sure, agree, do you agree? Yeah, I Good. believe it exists. Then it could not have come from absolute nothingness at one point, whether our universe or any of the other multiverses people put into the equation. It cannot be a case where at one point there was absolutely nothing and then bubbles of universe started coming into existence. It it's not going to happen. There, no, I, I, I just think that I we don't know what happened. Do you agree? Do you agree there cannot be a time where there was total void nothingness? But how would you know? You, this? No, I'm saying from I'm saying from our from our logic that our intelligence right now, I would say that's not very plausible. But obviously I wasn't around and I don't know everything. Exactly. So I cannot know 100 percent We need to really stick to the realities. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we also have to If you, I, if you, if you now presuppose, if you now presuppose, you know what, there might be other sort of laws elsewhere, then you might think you can turn into a turtle the next second, just because if you do this. No, I'm, I'm just saying, but because it doesn't have to be this law. The universe. Universe. Because it could be other laws somehow through another dimension coming into this universe. Do you see that? We have to stick to the laws of our universe yeah, yeah, okay. to talk about this universe. Now, nothing, nothing, nothing. Good. Good. So from what we understand from this universe, our universe could not have come from a point where there was absolute nothingness. There has to be always something. Always something. Because something exists now. There has to be always something. Without a beginning, always something there. Without a beginning, always something there. So now you have two options, broadly speaking. Either this universe or the transformation of this universe in whatever shape or form you want to imagine has always been there or, or the originator of the universe has always been there. It's the first law. No, I, 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 I personally I think that um, we may never be able to find out the exact cause of that. that that's not that, that, always before. The, the I don't question about that deferring, that let's leave the deferring. Let's actually analyze now. If we exist now, there's only two possibilities. This universe, in some of its manifestation, has always been there. Because that's the logical, intellectual, rational conclusion that you have to arrive at. Or the one who brought, the thing that brought this universe into existence has always been there. I, I, I would say that it's probably more likely the universe has always been in some kind of form. But in something creating the universe. Fine. So now, for obvious reasons, my friend, you would take the second category, like my friend does here also. Not the God, originator, creator, but the universe itself. Because you don't have to believe in a creator to make that sense, right? So you will take the other option, which is a logical option to take. No problem. Let's analyze your model. A godless model, originatorless model, a creatorless model where you have this universe in some form always been there, right? So obviously you should be able to explain if something has always been there, it means it exists with inherent properties because there's nothing else giving its properties. It inherently has it. If you have existence, yeah, I know the universe is a system. If you have existence, like this universe, imagine you are the universe. Yeah. If you have existence, you exist by necessity by yourself. Not someone gives you this existence. So you will have this inherent attribute of yourself that you are self-existing. This quality that you will have. The universe will have a quality of existing by itself. What else would this universe have? It will have what we call ability to do things because universe is transforming transformation is change so it changes so the universe has something to change itself what does it have so that it changes inherent within itself not given by someone or something so the universe has inherent properties 
that makes it to change. Yeah, of course. What? What is it? For example, time allows things to change over time. Time itself is not a conscious agent. I know. That's I know. No, that's not. That's not. That's not. Like you're a universal human being and you have thoughts and conscious people. Time is not a conscious agent, is it? Yeah. yeah that says, ah, you know what? I'm going to make this universe to do like, behave like this more. So time is not a conscious agent. Your time is the universe conscious. What? Does the universe have consciousness no, from the not. very beginning? Of course not. Right. So without being a conscious agent, possessing power, how does it go about doing things? Why does it remain as it is? No, the, the, the reason why I think it remains as it is is because... It, it hasn't remained as it is. It's changed. No, I'm saying the reason why the universe exists with things like time and this and that in the way that we see it in such an organized manner is because we could only ever exist and be consciously aware of it if only the conditions are right for us to exist. And That's not my question. You're trying to, you're trying to answer I, 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 other questions. We don't look. You may be familiar with the theistic and the atheistic debate, where they say, "Look, the proof of existence of the Creator, cosmological argument, ontological argument, teleological argument." I'm not giving you any of this. I'm having simple discussion so that we leave the philosophical debate. And so, you think the universe was made by God? No, no, no. I'm talking about your model. See whether it actually can I know, I know hold by itself. Yeah, but whether I want, I want it is coherent. He wants to get to the bottom of We that. want to know whether your model is coherent. No, 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 no my, like, I don't know if my model is correct or not. I, that's, I'll tell you. We will establish whether it's correct no, or not. No, I, I, no, Let's it, do that. You cannot, you cannot. Why not? You cannot because, like I said, you don't, I don't know everything about the universe. No one knows Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example how we can do about global things. If you're not conscious, then to do things or to believe that some things will happen automatically is quite far-fetched. Um, do you cook? Sometimes. Okay. When you cook sometimes, you cook in the kitchen sometimes, right? Yeah. Good. So you have now let's imagine picture your kitchen. You have a kitchen there, you have a do you have a free fridge? Of course. Good. Do you have any cooker? Yeah. Good. Your sink? Tap. Is early example. Good. You so you have a sink with this water. Yeah. The fridge or a freezer with this milk inside. And there's a kettle where you can put on the stove for, to boil water from the tap. And there are cups next yes, somewhere. I, wait, wait! I, I think wait, you can do this in a much quicker way. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I want to imagine this, right? And there are a cupboard where there's tea bags. You want to make tea, right? Not you. We want to have tea. Me, we all want to have tea, right? Good. So we go to a kitchen and we stand there. How long do we have to stand for until a tea is made with our individual choices of sugars? Remember, there's no conscious agent breaking it. It's just there. All the elements that you need is just there. Everything there. Someone right has to make it. No, 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 no. There is no one to make it. Remember, no, there, is, say it's never gonna there get is, made, is it? never going to get made. So even though if you have all the elements in place together, like the universe, you compare though wait, the tea the to God. Now there's a big difference. Let's, 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 let's explore this example a bit more. To make a cup of tea, only a tea, a mundane thing, right? You need a conscious agent to pull all these ingredients together in the right proportions, yeah? Right proportions and the right order to make a tea, a cup of tea. This universe, if you don't consider to be conscious, so all the ingredients are there, inherent matter or energy or whatever manifestation is there. And things happening from there without a conscious, willing act. Of course, things just It will never happen. happen. No, it does. Like a tea, right? Like the tea. No, obviously, obviously we make a tea. No, no, no. Why would the tea not happen? Why would, why would, sorry, why would a cup of coffee or tea not happen in your kitchen? You cannot compare making a tea. The universe, the universe, the universe doesn't universe. make tea. So the universe, tea. do you agree, is more complex than the cup of coffee? But we, the universe, made us. Make a slow, cup of slow down. If the universe is more complex than a cup of coffee, and a cup of coffee cannot be made in your kitchen there, no, there's, anytime there's a reason why without the a conscious agent, because like I said, stuff drifts around, <laughs> it collides, gravity pulls stuff together. There's that that can be explained. In your kitchen, Whereas, that's happening also. There's a difference between a kitchen natural rules are operating. No, in your kitchen, yes, the natural no rules are operating. Saying that if you leave stuff there, tea sugar's just going to magically fly into a cup of tea. Why are you assuming that our universe, which has always been there, there was these laws in place? Where did the law come from? Exactly. What? These laws. What? 
you know, like I said, I don't know everything. I just it's know. It's not about knowing everything. It's now thinking about them. So you are assuming a model of a universe where the universe has. No, I'm saying the reason why the laws exist as they are because if they didn't exist as we are, we would have we been here to you know. You give it for take that it for granted. These laws were here. You take it for granted. The universe has very fantastic, very um, fine-tuned laws. Very fine-tuned laws. This is why you are saying it's a given fact. But I'm saying is this given fact should make you think all of these are there and yet I am not saying it's a conscious act. What makes you say this is unconsciously? You cannot even imagine a cup of coffee or tea happening in your kitchen without a conscious agent doing it. Like because I said, it's your uh, no, no, like, life no, no, for example, that you're for living. Example, for example. But when it comes to the universe, you're saying no, you're for example, no, no, let's, let's, stay, let's stay on the planet. A river still flows without someone making it. Stuff That's still right. happens. And the river is flowing because it's been already programmed and designed by a conscious agent. Where that Do you know? Agent okay. come from? That's what I want to know. Before you go, why well, are you jumping the gun? No, like, you have to. You have to. I can't be all day. No, you have. You have to. You have. <laughs> That's to, the main reason. You have to like intellectually agree to your own self. Actually, everything leads to a conscious agent, and then ask yourself. No, I, I cannot go. Where to, does that tell you right come now, from? I cannot go to the fact that everything can be let down. I do not think that. I, I, I think that everything that happens in the universe outside of for example this planet can be explained in a rational way. Where did you get that truth from? Can you prove it by your science? No, for, a, example, for Why example, do you call this statement example, axiomatic? No, 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 it's bad. At the beginning of the universe, it was all still. But one location just happened to have a little bit more matter. No, that my, matter you, would have had more value. You my question, sorry. When you make a statement that we can explain things naturally, that statement, what did you use to prove that statement to be true? Yeah. Oh no, obviously I have it because I don't have a scientific lab, but Who did? I, people have before studied that, if you, if you like, go, and, uh, look, look, I don't want to undermine you, um, I'm sure you're a very intelligent person, maybe more intelligent than I am, and I think you're an intelligent person. If you go and study the philosophy of science, and you realize assertions like this itself, you know, you can't prove it, prove these things. You can't prove those assertions. Yes, but you cannot you are taking God exists look, 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 look. We are actually discussing the things that you assert. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you did I prove God. We cannot prove or disprove that this My friend, no, I agree. Yes, my friend, did I ever assert in this discussion that we had, God exists? Yeah, but obviously that's what you're doing. I obviously... So that's why, Ben, I was, I was showing you different models that explains our life and existence. We analyzed the one which is a godless model. If there is only two models, one of them is incoherent. You better think about the other one. Yeah. No, no. Because I, there's only two I, models. No, like the like the God model is so much uncoherent. Okay. Now let's talk like, about the God model. We expect this universe to be created by God because the universe is not a conscious agent. It has to come from a being who is aware. Where did the being come from? Now, right. I can understand how I am, beings I'm would answering. make the universe. I, am, I want to know where the being. I'm just going to answer. Like person, uh, God. If came you from. if you have missed it already, person, we said. Yeah, I know he's not a person. You know what I mean, brother, brother, okay. brother, brother. We already establish the fact that we are here as something automatically tells you something has to always exist. Either the universe in some of its manifestation or any of its manifestation or the originator of this universe has to be always there. Then you, if you ask me where did the originator who was always there to come from, what kind of question are you asking? You're asking who created the uncreated? Do you see what you're asking for? No, I know, I know it's complicated, but I'm it's not complicated. No, no, no. someone had to you are not, creator. You are not Asking a meaningful question. You are in agreement that you are in agreement that something has to exist always. You agree that already? Yes, but something is complicated. It's God. This is be more complicated in the universe. My, my friend, either matter, this universe exists without a creator always. Or the creator who created this universe exists always. That's what you agreed with. Yeah, but I would say it's more likely that the universe has always existed. That's what we've shown to be very unlikely. That's what we've shown to be more likely that because the universe you need no. What we said, you realized that if the universe as a model number two existing always, all points to the fact that the universe have to have consciousness and will. 
This is what we are assigning to the other model. A being that exists always, that's what we agreed, it has to be always. So you can't ask, where did that being come from? Because we already asserted it has to be. Because we exist here and there cannot be a time where there's absolute nothingness. So that model we were saying, the being has consciousness, awareness and will, which this universe doesn't have and points to having it. Do you see? No, I get where you're coming from, but I think it's a long shot to say so that the thing that happened to exist beforehand was an all-knowing creator. Then if something just, uh, exists, okay. Gathering of let's crush let's, elements. Let's let's <laughs> really, really examine that. If something exists always without a beginning, what sort of attributes and properties would that thing possess? We do not know. Okay, let me tell you. It would not be limited, it would not be finite, and you would not be dependent. You can exclude all of these three. It cannot depend on something else because it was always there. There cannot be any dependency. No, I, I know what you're getting from. No, 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 I, no, you don't know what I'm getting no, at. No, obviously, like, I want I, you I to agree from. with me what no, I'm getting I'm, at. I'm saying, I'm saying, you're saying, um, I, I guess, I guess in your kind of model, um, where everything comes from everything, it can be right. But in reality, maybe everything That's the reality. Whether there is God, or that there is only universe. The universe points to having consciousness and will, which you don't want it to have. And I'm saying that thing that you want to give to the universe is what God has. Awareness and will. Yeah? No, then also there are so many things like, for example, there are so many different types of gods. So what There has God to be real? a being who exists always. So if you have a belief system which says God can be born, it's not the right religion, not right belief system. Clearly you can disregard that. Because it has to be a God who, which has no beginning. If you have no beginning, Imagine you are a being who have no beginning. You are not limited and constrained by anything. You will no, be an absolute I, I, I being. I personally believe that being is always no, existed. What I'm saying, my friend, what's your name? Max. Max, I'm Mansoor. Max, what I'm saying, Max, if a being exists without a beginning, that being will have no constraint of its existence. It will be everlasting with no end. So Max, if you were being that existed without a beginning, nothing can have some influence on your existence you will remain in existence forever you will be eternal with no beginning and everlasting with no end that is what we affirm about our creator he has no beginning and he will have no end now let's move further if you are a being who have no beginning and no end beginning without existing without a beginning existing without an end then your properties that you have will be absolute they will be not limited and dependent on anything. So if you have energy, that energy will be absolute energy, not constrained by anything. If you have knowledge, no, I, I, no, I agree with you. You'll you be all knowledgeable. Scenario, it's not hypothetical. Where, no, it, it it's is. the only in conclusion that you can arrive. Like, on your hypothetical scenario, where this being has unlimited power, unlimited everything, because he's always. Do you disagree? But do you disagree? I, I, just, I just do. Yeah. I okay. Agree so now tell me, I just how agree. how is this being who's supposed to exist always is limited? No, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying. I'm not saying that he could not be unlimited. And I, I, so, I, I, so you I, I, agree I that the being has to be unlimited? No, I do not. I do not. I'm, I'm just saying. In, in, you I cannot can, agree I and not agree. You no, know, I, I, know, I know. I'm saying. I, I, I can. I can put myself in your position and hypothesize that this being was unlimited. Do you accept unlimited. rationally? Rationally, do you accept that that being has to be absolute? Uh, not really. No. Okay. If it's not absolute, then it's dependent, finite, and limited. Not absolute. How do you accept something that exists without a beginning is limited and dependent and finite? No, because a magic being justify that rationally. As like a being, no, justify it rationally. Come into existence. Being didn't come into existence. No, you, I mean, you like, get like, obviously, it's something like okay, if nothing that would have just always existed. Would have there has to be something that exists always. Why are you now again? You're backtracking. It's as if we agree. Always existing. No, no. That's unconscious and just like a gathering. Just like your material. kitchen. Like your kitchen. Unconscious and not being able no, to make a cup of coffee. There's a difference between a kitchen. You can, like I say, you cannot compare a kitchen to something the size of the universe and its complex as the universe. Like obviously, a kitchen does not apply the same laws. Are you giving universe again consciousness, intent, design, and purpose, and will? And you could, no, you could almost say in the way the universe does have like a consciousness because stuff happens so now we've moved one step forward this universe this is not a god model 
It's a godless model. This universe has consciousness. I'm not saying it has consciousness, but I'm saying you could have. Now you're backtracking. No, again. I'm saying it doesn't have. I know it doesn't have consciousness. But when I say I can have consciousness, I can see how you can see in such a way where it has the consciousness. Because stuff happens. You are arriving at those conclusions in a way which is not by emotion but intellectual reasoning no, so I, your I guess... intellect your intellect is directing you to say this universe looks like it has come to space. i guess you know i guess i guess the the truth is that i just cannot agree with you and it's, not agreeing. Agree with you. it's about agreeing with you That's I know, the question. I, I, I just can't. do you agree with you i cannot agree do you agree with you max i do agree with myself right I think so I'm do you agree with you that the universe shows consciousness not, ne not really. Not really. Not okay. Really. I don't necessarily think it shows consciousness, but I think because it stuff happens so randomly, you can Random. perceive it in a way. So something that exists eternally, you are giving the attribute of randomness eternally, and yet randomness created order. Of course. So, so this randomness, this universe, without any consciousness. No, no, no. I tell you how. It's God. Oh. Like equilibrium. When you expend energy, when something expends energy, it creates order. The universe is always becoming less disordered. But on a small you know what scale, random means? if you get rid of energy, you can create order. That's what energy. When you're when you're running and doing stuff, you're expending energy. You are creating Brother, order. I want to borrow your example. Like long term, long term, long term. Max, Max. Now this is still hot, right? Now if I go into a kitchen. Yeah. With my big hammer or whatever I have, <laughs> and smash randomly everything of your kitchen. Yeah. When can I get a good cup of coffee? Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> you have, you have, you have like made the universe less disordered. But that's what I'm saying. Your kitchen, I am randomly smashing your fridge. But 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 you can expend energy. You know what I'm saying? You can expend energy to move and remake the stuff. That's what I'm... Look, look. What you give to the universe, I give to the kitchen. Randomness. I randomly go and smash your kitchen upside down. When am I going to expect a coffee in a cup like that? When someone makes... When someone expends the energy to make one. You are again saying, without... With this randomness, random movement, you can never get no, coffee. No, no, I'm saying, obviously stuff is not random nowadays because people have brains and people can consciously do stuff. The universe doesn't have brains, does it? No, we have brains. But, so we but, can consciously but you don't. Do stuff. But you don't control the universe. Make it to the universe you, doesn't make it to you. you don't control the universe, and you didn't control the universe at the very beginning when there's no beginning. So yes, the, point, no, the okay. point no, is okay. still no, no, the most random thing you could say, up to the point of where stuff took over by itself. When life took over by itself, it's up to the point where two amino acids came together and divided. That's like that's that's like the randomness it comes up to. And then from there onwards, life took on its own control. I am very, getting confused. You are one point saying you can never have a cup of coffee. Yeah, exactly. How do you pronounce it? Kolichi? <laughs> no. I don't drink coffee. Yeah, but same. I'm saying my brother does. He wants coffee from your kitchen. He goes in your kitchen randomly and smashes everything randomly. You are suggesting somehow it's possible to have it, yeah. by random events of movements to have no, this it coffee. Be man, he would consciously decide to go to the shop and get new but stuff, I'm, I'm, which would spend so, energy. So, so he if he smashes place. your kitchen, do you still think it's possible to have a coffee like this? Not that cup of coffee, but you have another cup of coffee. How can you have another cup of coffee? <laughs> you would, would go to Starbucks. <laughs> uh, sure. no, no, no. From his kitchen. The only kitchen in the universe. No, no, what I'm saying. What we're illustrating. No, what we're illustrating is, if his kitchen was the whole universe. Yeah, but you with like random, with, 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 with random events. Imagine his kitchen was the all the universe that, that what there was. Yeah. With random movements, yeah, with random movements, you can never get a cup of coffee. Yes, like, a you can never get a universe in a cup of coffee. Like we have today in randomness. No, That's no, what I'm trying to get. Like I said, and I'm sure Max understands. The difference between a cup of coffee and a universe. The universe did not randomly create a cup of okay. coffee, but okay. it created. Okay. Now, suppose God existed. How many gods rationally make sense to exist? One or many? One. I agree with you. Monotheism. That means polytheism or other belief system where there are many gods, we can disregard that because it doesn't make sense. I am a Muslim. Do you know how many gods I believe in? One. One god. Do you know what are the characteristics or attributes I give, not I give, God has given to himself? Let me show you. I don't have to tell you. I can just show it to you. Look, there's a small chapter in the Quran. 
This is confirming our speculative understanding of who God is. Surah 112. There are 114 chapters or surahs in the Quran. This is two more after that, right? This is the third, ultimate third. Say he is Allah who is one. Allah the eternal refuge, the eternal being. Neither begets nor is born. He hasn't got any children, he hasn't got any fathers of lineage. Yeah? One and only and unique. No fathers, no children. Nor is there any, uh, nor is there to him any equivalent. There's no likeness or comparison or comparable anything to him. So you have, God is describing himself. He's one and only and unique. He's eternal and absolute. He's not born and doesn't produce children or doesn't produce any offspring. Yes, I, I, and I, I know there's the nothing like unto God. That, now, you're not going to get me to this, say No, what I'm that saying is, God exists. is, look how this is so coherent one God. about oneness of God the Quran provides. You know, there can be only two models of this universe. A God model, a Godless model. The God model the Quran provides, your heart and your mind will be happy with, tranquil with, content with. It described God, who is this? One and only and independent and absolute. It is not saying, oh, I don't know. It's not saying like, you know, let me give you an example. Suppose this book said, God created the rainbow for a reason that when he's about to destroy mankind again and looks at the cloud and sees the rainbow and says, oh, I remember now not to destroy mankind. You will say, what kind of God is that? Who needs reminding by a rainbow? Our God, there's not a leaf that falls on the ground or the darkest of the ants on a dark night but God is unaware of. He is the all aware. He created this. I know, I guess to me, I just cannot see how God... Have you read the Quran? Me. No. Okay. I'll, Let I'll me give be you honest, an I haven't read it. No problem. It's a long no problem. book and no, no. I find it a bit boring. Look, such a small book, it fits in your pocket. No, that's not the proper Quran. That is the proper Quran. Come on. Come on. The proper Quran is in Arabic. This is in Arabic. Yeah, I don't know how to read Arabic. No, you know? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I don't know how to read Arabic. No, no. And English? The only Quran I would trust and is an old Quran, one that's untranslated. Okay, but you need to learn Arabic. I need to learn Arabic. To do Since that. you haven't learned Arabic yet, you can use a, an aid, what we call a translation, and read it. I, I want to show you something extraordinary, but it's simple. You know how we're I've discussing. Even a minute, so okay, so we will summarize this, right? Okay. Max, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, but I want to share with you. You know how we talk about, we're speculating about this universe and the cause of this universe and the origin of this universe? We want to have guidance, we want to know the truth. Look what the Quran says about this book. Shall I tell you the Arabic first because English is... No, 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 and then I'll try to translate. I won't understand it. Alif Lam Mim Thalik al-kitab la rayba feeh Hudan lil-muttaqeen Only two statements of the Quran. Alif Lam Mim This is the book about which there is no doubt a guidance for those who are conscious of Allah, God. Allah is the name of God. So this book from the very outset tells you this is a book which gives you guidance without doubt. Without a doubt. For those who are conscious of God. You are conscious that either there is God or there isn't. You know the reality is this. It will guide you without a doubt. Look, I haven't made any notes. This is a gift from me to you. Read it, contemplate, reflect on it, and maybe sometimes later when you're again in the park, we discuss. But now, you know, okay. I leave you with this. Quran. Yeah, have a good day. Okay, take care, Max. Yeah, you too. Nice pleasure speaking to you. Same.